Hello guys, welcome to another video of Dual Propeller EDF. This is the second part of the video. If you haven't checked the first one, then click on the I button. So first we will check the thrust of counter rotation configuration. I'll be using two 1700 kV motors. This design has a little problem. The holes for the wires is near to the motor and thus the wires are hitting the propeller. I have rectified the problem by making another hole using soldering iron and thus the wires can easily pass through without touching the propeller. Now I will attach both the propellers. This propeller will be mounted at the back in both the case because it is designed in such a way. We will only replace the front propeller. So now our EDF is ready and we will mount it on the test rig. So first I will calculate its weight. and it is about 295 grams. I don't know about the thrust but I am sure it will have a high mass flow rate. Currently I am using an 80 ampere ESC but since we are using two motors thus we need to replace the ESC. I will be using these two 40 ampere ESC. The recommended ESC for these motor is 50 ampere but since I am not having it thus I will use the 40 ampere ESC. But since both the ESC will give me a total current limit of 80 ampere, thus I will limit my maximum current up to 60 to 70 ampere for safe handling using watt meter. And now I will connect them with this connector. The white wire is off signal. Now I will connect the wires of the ESC with the servo tester. It has become a little heavy. So first I will check the ideal thrust. It is about 350 grams. So first I will connect a 3S battery. So at any condition I won't take this test above 70 amperes because both the ESC has a maximum limit of 40 amperes. So first I will test it using a 3S battery. And I took it to maximum current of 73 amperes. I still have some throttle left but we have a limiting current. So now I will connect a 4S battery.
I took it to a maximum current of 73 amperes and it produced a high amount of thrust and air flow rate. And I only took it to 50% throttle. And now I will perform the calculation and provide you the details. And now I will change the propeller configuration to same direction and perform the thrust test. Now I will put this propeller on the front for our second configuration. Now I have attached the propeller and now I will begin the thrust test. So first I will connect this 3S battery. It only produces a lot of noise and produces a less thrust at 100% throttle. I don't think so it will be better as compared to counter direction propeller. Counter direction propeller was better as compared to this one. But I will connect a 4S battery last time to check the thrust. It also produced a lot of noise and didn't produce much thrust. So now I will perform the calculations and show you the observations. So before the conclusion let me show you its power. So we have noticed that in the same direction configuration it didn't produce much thrust. It only produced lot of noise it is because of the generation of turbulent flow. And in fact the counter direction EDF was good. So I will connect it with a 4S battery and show you its thrust. Now I will use this book of approx 1600 gram to check its power. This EDF will produce a high air flow rate. Since the angle of contact of book is also less but look at the result. Even the surface is bit rough then to it moved the book. And now let's check it one more time. Now let me show you the observations. So when we have connected it to a single propeller, the details were as given below. The 1000 kV EDF was less efficient. It gave 1.84 efficiency at 3S and 1.63 at 4S battery. And the thrust was 305 grams at 3S and 530 grams at 4S battery. The 1700 kV EDF performed well as 1700 kV motor has high RPM as compared to 1000 kV motor. It produced a thrust of 600 grams at 1.42 efficiency at 3S battery and a thrust of 875 grams at 1.22 efficiency at 4S battery. But it has a high mass flow rate. Now we will come to dual propeller configuration. For counter direction EDF, we get a thrust of 1120 grams at 1.43 efficiency using a 3S battery. And it gives a thrust of 1230 grams at 1.32 efficiency using a 4S battery. Though the thrust is less using two motors but it has a high mass flow rate. So you can use it in any application where there is a requirement of high mass flow rate. And now moving on to the same direction configuration. It produces a thrust of 720 grams at 1.2 efficiency using a 3S battery and produces a thrust of 960 grams at 0.98 efficiency using a 4S battery. It is least efficient. It only produces lot of noise. So we will be only using a counter direction EDF wherever required. So now our thrust test is completed and we have also designed a new EDF. The counter direction propeller EDF has 1.43 and 1.32 efficiency. No doubt it is less efficient as compared to running the motors using two blade propellers. But this efficiency is similar to what the market EDFs are giving. Like this market EDF. I will do a thrust test of this EDF in my upcoming videos and compare it with my DIY EDF. This EDF has a high thrust because it has a high RPM motor. So our thrust test is completed and we have also designed a new EDF. So I have also designed and tested a small EDF of 80mm and you can watch it video by clicking on the i button. So if you have any question regarding this video then you can ask in the comment section. So guys please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you for watching it.